let's bring in our panel. Matt Walsh, uh, editor-in-chief of Reason Magazine. Madison Jesse Otto, Washington Times columnist, also the National Diversity Coalition for Trump advisor. Matt, are you surprised at this White House and, and, and some of the actions that they've taken thus far with, with respect to prison reform? Only a little bit. I'm so, I, I would like to see the president go uh, bigger and bolder and attempt to go for mandatory minimum reform and back the Chuck Grassley bill on that that's happening in the Senate. It is remarkable to see and to note that criminal justice reform, it is really a, a grassroots bottom up thing that's happening. Texas is tearing down prisons, right, while California was building them. Um, and so even though you have someone like Jeff Sessions, who's pretty an unrepentant drug warrior and is against mandatory minimum reform, uh, sadly, uh, as attorney general, you have uh, a Trump White House that has signaled at least interest in prison reform. And again, hopefully we can get mandatory minimums looked at as well. You know, by, by the same token, Madison, uh, the White House itself seems to, you know, look the other way with respect to things like marijuana. We know Jeff Sessions talks tough about it uh, and, and the industry perhaps is uneasy. But overall, uh, as someone who, who, who's working on diversity, who understands that this is an issue that crosses not just party lines, but really hits young folks, it hits uh, the people people of color, does this help you to try to recruit people uh, to, the, to, to understand the White House a little better? You know, Charles, it's really, really important when we look at this to make sure that people realize that there are people in this country serving sentences for their first nonviolent offense that are longer than people who have raped children. So we cannot stop at prison reform. We need to continue on to sentencing reform in this country. It's extremely important. This should not be a liberal issue. This should be a bipartisan issue. It be, should be something that conservative, liberals, Democrats, and Republicans alike support. And when we have someone like Kim Kardashian coming out and talking about this, that's great. She does have a huge following. She's someone that has been able to be very influential in many circles. But at the same time, I want to make sure that she's equipped with the proper information so that as she sheds light on this issue with her massive following, she's able to make sure that people understand. I saw a video of her earlier talking about Alice's case. And I think she mention, mentions that, you know, Alice made a mistake. But there's a lot of people that have made mistakes that we can't just let out of prison. So we need to talk about what is justice and right. how can we make sure that justice is properly served in our legal system. Matt, are you confident uh, that in this really polarized uh, atmosphere in D.C. that we can go beyond talking and actually see some things done? Sadly, no, uh, just because Congress is involved and Congress can't get out of its own way. Uh, we'll have to see what happens between Chuck Grassley and John Cornyn going forward. They're uh, bitterly divided on the bill in the Senate. But with the Trump White House can do a lot. They can signal their willingness to do this and say, hey, get this done right now. That'll put pressure on the Senate especially to do something. So hopefully, cross your fingers, we can get this done. All right. Thank you both very much. Really appreciate it.